Welcome to the UC Application Mini Tutorial Series hosted by UC Santa Barbara's Office of Admissions. During this video, we'll detail how you can enter multiple grading terms into the UC Applications Academic History section if you're a freshman applicant. Let's get started. The academic history section of the UC application will ask freshman applicants to self-report all A through G coursework. The application does not ask for you to submit a transcript, nor can you upload one into the application itself. Therefore, the only way for us to know if you've completed your academic coursework and for us to know how to calculate your GPA is through your self-reported coursework in the academic history section. The academic history section starts with the application asking, have you taken any A through G coursework in the subjects of mathematics or language other than English? Now we ask if you've taken these in junior high, otherwise known as seventh or eighth grade in California. For students who did take a mathematics or language other than English course, you will be asked to name the course within the application, see the bottom left hand side, but you'll also be asked to give us the term period. Was this a full year course that you completed with the C or better, or was this partially a year that was completed? Once you've done this, the application will ask you then to talk about your high school coursework. Should you need assistance with filling out the high school section of the application and entering high schools, please refer to the UCSB applicant playlist on the UCSB For Me YouTube channel. The application's academic history section will ask you to report every high school you've attended and high school by high school will be asking about the grading system, your grade type in other words. So did you earn zero to 100 uh, on your class scale? Were you in the international baccalaureate program and you earned a one through seven? Were you on an ABCDF scale? Now we do wanna remind students the University of California does not consider plus or minuses within the ABCDF scale for freshman admissions. So you won't see an A plus or an A minus visible. Now, if you don't see your grade term, you can enter other within the application. After you've told us the type of grades we'll see, we now want to know the number of grades that will be reflected per class. This is your school term type. The application asks you, did you earn one final grade per year per class? That would be full. Did you earn two grades? That would be semester. Now students are able to say, hey, I'm on a block schedule or I'm on a four by four. That means that you're earning two grades per year per class, regardless of the time frame in which it took to earn those grades. Three grades per year, you're on trimester, four grades per year. Again, final grades per year, you're on quarter. For those students who have multiple grade types that are on your transcript, you can click more than one button. So I can click full semester and trimester if that's what my school transcript reflects. Maybe my school changed its grading system from one year to the next, or it's possible that your high school has certain classes on semester, but other classes on trimester. If that's the case, select more than one. Within the application process, you will be able to see a summary of each of your high schools listed. So in the term type system, you wanna make sure that all of the term types that you selected are reflected. If you do not do this now, and you start working on entering courses one by one, the application will ask you to come back and fix this. If you have to fix this after you've entered courses, those courses will be deleted. That's kind of doing double the work. So again, read that summary page, make sure that all of your term types are reflected. When you're entering your courses from ninth through 12th grade, that's again, ninth through 12th grade, so through your senior year, you will be asked class by class to enter the term type. So from a drop down menu, all of those types that you selected will be visible. Maybe I click semester for this particular class. And in my chemistry class, I have two final grades. So two boxes will pop up. I will then be asked to enter my grades from ninth through 11th grade. And I'll be asked to tell the application what's in progress or planned in my senior year. You might have a semester long class, but it's not a full year. 
the application doesn't consider that a full term. A class that's a half year on a semester system will be reflected by the opportunity to say no course or no grade available during this time frame. Now, maybe I go back to the drop down menu and I click full. Well, when I do that, only one box pops up because I only have one grade to report. You'll continue this particular process throughout each class that you're reporting in the academic history section. At the end of each academic year, you'll be able to see a summary page. So this is my sophomore year. English 10 was on full because there's only one final grade, but my history class was on semester. Within the application process, maybe my junior year was on trimester. There's one, two, three grades available to me. If you're confused at all, please contact your counselor or the Office of Admissions. We're happy to navigate and help you read your transcript. I hope this information has been helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to the Office of Admissions. Our email is on the screen. You'll find additional tutorials about the application on our YouTube channel, UCSB for me. We wish you the best of luck in submitting your application, and we look forward to reading your application in the future.